Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back. Today you're going to learn how to build this workflow right here, which is essentially your own 24-7 AI marketing team. Okay, so either you are a automation beginner or specialist or somebody who's getting into any that, or maybe an entrepreneur or business owner, you know, who has time constraints or maybe budget constraints, so you can't really afford to hire a third party or outsourcing marketing stuff, right? So here you're going to get a N8N N flow that you can use at your own time and you can ask whatever you want in terms of the vision and strategy that you have for your brand and this AI marketing team will tailor everything for you and they're going to give you the final output in the form of the log right here. So again, quick kind of a run through all this. So here we are basically logging campaign, campaign objective, KPIs, uh, target audience, audience insights, platforms, uh, budget range, research summary, competitor insights, trend marketing, uh, trend and market insights, recommendations, creative copy highlights, and bunch of bunch of more stuff. Okay, and guys, I've been in marketing for six years, so I made sure to kind of include all the uh, foundational requirements that you really need for your uh, marketing strategy to kind of kickstart you from zero to a hundred, okay? And you can do all this using N8N, okay? And this entire template will be available as a free uh, JSON basically download. So if you're a beginner and if you're asking like, what is a free JSON template? So in N8N, everything is a JSON, including the template. So template is everything you see on my screen. Okay, this is the template. And below, below the video in the description box, there's gonna be a link to download this entire thing. And once you do, you're gonna to go to your edit and you're gonna create a new workflow. Okay, so it's gonna be empty instead of having all of this. And then you're gonna click on three dots right here and simply import from file. And once you do, you're gonna have exactly this thing right here. Okay, so if you run into any issues or got uh, an error for any of the nodes in here, just let me know down in the comments and I'm gonna help you out personally. Okay, so don't worry about it. Okay, so and a couple of, couple of things that you need to kind of check mark before you kind of can use the flow. So first of all, you need something called uh, Tavli API. Okay, and Tavli is basically um, an API for a web scraper and you get a generous 1000 uh, credits for uh, for entire month, right? So every month you have 1000 credits, which is quite a lot. So here you guys can see I ran my entire flow uh, once and I used only seven credits considering it was a pretty extensive research. So again, it's a good baseline. It's a good start. Okay. It's enough bandwidth for you to kind of, um, um, create your initial marketing plans and maybe do a couple of revisions. Uh, but again, uh, it's again, more than enough for you as a beginner to use this web scraper for free. So don't think about it. Okay. So you won't be having any issues on the spot, right? So it's a good place to start. Um, and then you need API keys from uh, OpenAI. Okay, so OpenAI is the company behind ChatGPT. So if you want to use AIs, you will need to use some sort of API. So your initial cost really is just an API at the very beginning. Okay, and to do that, go to the uh, this website right here. Again, I'll link uh, this link also below the video in the description box, including for the tally. So don't worry about it. And once you access it, you're gonna have something like this, and then just go to a, um, just right here, you're gonna go to dashboard, okay? Click on the dashboard, and then you're gonna go to API keys, and then you're gonna create new API key. You can name it to whatever you want, doesn't really matter the name. Uh, copy that API key, uh, bring it, bring that API key to your um, N8N, then open, open uh, any of these ones. So here we have GPT 4.1, open any of these nodes so click on it okay and then what you're gonna do uh you need to basically link your credential right so click here uh, create new credential and then and then simply copy paste this api key in here and click save and if it was successful it's gonna say success uh but you might get an error uh an error at the beginning because you need to actually first fund the api key meaning you need to put some money on the api keys because apis are not free as you guys know uh, so to do that, you're going to go here on this settings tab right here, and then you're going to go to billing. Okay. And then you basically add money. So add to credit balance. Uh, you can start with $10. It's more than enough. Add the credit card, click continue, save, and good to go. Then go back to N8N, uh, refresh everything, and then your API key should be working. And again, 
If you are running into any issues, uh, just leave a comment below uh, and let me know what kind of error message or issue or you are running into and I'm going to help you out. Okay, guys, don't worry about it. All right, and that uh, basically check marks everything that you need to have to kind of start using this flow. So let me now walk you through the flow and kind of give you a crash course on everything that's happening here, okay? So the first one is a chat node, okay? So in NA10, we need a uh, trigger node, which in our case is the chat node right here. So it's going to be triggering the, the entire workflow, and also it's a way to communicate with the AI agents, right? So here you can say whatever you want, and that's going to be your request to the AI agent, right? So um, you can also use Telegram, okay, if you want to connect it to your Telegram. For example, um, you can request for the marketing plan from your Telegram, okay? If you guys want me to make a video on that, let me know down in the comments and I can do that as well. Um, so yeah, that's the trigger node. Then we have a agent node, okay? And a agent node is connected to a bunch of other tools, okay? So here we're using a tool, okay? A agent has a tool. And these tools are basically the AI agent tools, right? So this is a new update. Uh, this makes... Uh, making AI agent swarms or chains much easier before we had to basically chain them uh, side by side um, and things would get messy pretty fast. But now things are really good and smooth uh, thanks to this new update. So now we can use AI agent tools as a tool for the main AI agent, okay? If that makes sense. Cool, so then our AI agent uh, needs a brain, okay? So here, each of these ones has a its own open AI node, okay? Because on its own, AI agent node doesn't really do anything. It needs an actual AI model. Uh, here we're using GPT, but uh, if you want, or you have other ones, you have Google, you have Anthropic or Cloud, or basically whichever you want to. But again, kind of a, for the beginners, I do suggest going with the uh, chat GPT uh, because it kind of has the less constraints. If, if you go with the cloud, uh, limits are a bit more harder. Okay, so you might uh, might hit the limit ceiling much fa faster with cloud than with, GP with GPT. Um, cool, so then we have Think. So Think Node is actually pretty cool. It's a, it's a cute little node because what it does basically, it's a sort of a uh, brain dump uh, place or a node for your AI agent. So it kind of thinks about things, it rethinks, okay? So uh, when you ask something, it's gonna kind of generate its uh, data and then it's gonna dump it in here and then it's gonna go over it again and see if it makes sense or something needs to be revisited, right? So literally, like us, you know, we have a thought and then we need to think about it. So that's kind of what it does, okay? Um, then we have simple memory and that's exactly what it, what it says, it's a, basic memory like we have, okay? So we're giving, uh, we're assigning a memory to a agent, right? Because here's the reason why we do that. For example, you're chatting and you're building your marketing strategy and then you want to kind of ask, hey, have you added this or have you added that? Can you can you remind me what, what did we talk about, I don't know, like five minutes ago, okay? So this basically gives a agent uh, five context windows or five chats in a way that it can look back to right so it can it can it has a uh, window of five last conversations that it had with you right so if you want to increase it you can do 10 20 50 um the only thing you need to kind of uh think about is that this will increase your token usage okay so because looking back at five messages maybe it's not as big and extensive but it's like 50 messages it's a huge amount of data so that will definitely increase your API cost, okay? So I suggest starting with something like five to 10, not more than 10, okay? Unless you really don't care about API costs and your money is unlimited, you can put whatever you want there, okay? Uh, but essentially that's gonna be extending the window of the memory, okay? All right, cool. Now let's move on to our little guys right here. So the same thing, each of the AI agent tool needs a AI model. So same thing like here, okay? Uh, you just really copy paste. Can change the models if you want to. Um, then this is the one I kind of touched upon at the beginning, Tavli. Okay, so Tavli is a web scraping tool. Um, it's a really easy one to use. As you guys can see, there's literally nothing. Everything is kind of handled by AI. It's uh, linked right here. So you're gonna click on create your credential. Uh, just go to Tavli, um, uh, API key right here. Uh, copy it uh, from here and bring it right here. Copy paste and that's it, you're good to go up running and you have 1,000 credits on a monthly basis, okay, which is pretty cool. And here, it restores a search or you can extract, you can even extract if you want, you can extract data. Um, but for the basics, we're using a search, so it can actually search 
all the data on website uh, on websites real time. Okay, for example, if something was posted uh, yesterday or some kind of blog post or whatever, um, it will have it will have access to that, you know, as of as of yesterday, right? So it's a real time data search in a sense. So it's really good for research and when you're building market strategy because you need to be sort of you know um, you need to be you need to be updated what's happening today okay you can be building market strategy about something that was i don't know two two three years from now you know uh or i mean two three years in the past okay so you need to be to date making sure that you're using the latest strategies and ways uh, to do marketing okay so it's really important for marketing because marketing is one of those things that is moving really really fast with time and with all the ai's things are changing so you want to be sure that you all you are always uh, on your A game when it comes to uh, marketing strategy. And what's cool about e each of these ones, I kind of applied, uh, you know, the years experience in marketing that I had. So each of these agents is sort of prompted or so again, so here's the crash course in this one. So each a agent has sort of a character that we can predefine, right? right? So and that is called system message, right? System message is, is defining the character or behavior of your agent that has to follow at all times. So you can change it, okay? But like a, like uh, as it is right now, it will be static at all times, meaning it's going to be the same thing every time. Okay, we want a agent to follow these rules every single time. You can change it again. You can write things. You can modify them as you want. Adjust for strategy, for your niche, for brand, etc. But again, just a quick crash uh, course on the on the structure. We have overview. We where we actually describing the character of the AI agent uh, here. What it has to do every time at all times. Uh, here we are giving um, basically sort of um, breakdown of the tools it has access to, okay? Um, then we have essentially rules, okay? I believe I forgot to take out the um, some calendar notes here because before the agent had access to a Google Calendar. Uh, let me just clean this up very quickly. All right, so I made some corrections there. So basically now we have instructions what it should be handling uh, newsletters promotional emails blog posts PR content and all that cool stuff okay we have to always ensure specific things uh, here we are defining the tools so it has a uh, access to web scraper tabulate tool okay to gather research and insights uh, from provided URLs um, again I'm going to show you which ones I'm referring to okay uh, creating drafts for for blogs I can uh, get content calendar and then we have the rules instructions and some examples okay and then i'm providing something really really cool which are email marketing research uh resources okay so here we have uh about some kind of a industry standard um urls for research specifically okay uh constant contact that's usually for email stuff okay hubspot really has everything marketing related uh brevo also sort of a it's a platform for email marketing, but they have a bunch of like blogs and stuff like that that can be useful for um, for a agent. And obviously, we have Clavio. Clavio is really the staple in the marketing industry, uh, specifically also in email marketing. So we're giving access to basically these URLs as a reference or suggestion where to start, right? Uh, to to make sure that we're kind of using the best practices across industry. And same kind of one thing follows for AI paid especially. It's kind of the same structure. Here we're providing some uh, URLs as a reference, okay? Um, so the news, uh, again, you know, some good, the best practice for Google Ads, examples for Google Ads, uh, insights, and essentially everything uh, ads related, okay? So sort of, I would think of it as a uh, data set for agents, so it kind of has better understanding and more knowledge about that specific task. Uh, and same thing for a social media agents, right? So here we have the same thing. And we're referring it to uh, basically Sprout Social, which is really big one for social media, analytics and strategy stuff, right? Uh, and then I'm also including some B2B just in case if there's somebody um, who wants to do B2B. There's also a uh, some materials for B2B research included here, right? And then the CMO agent also has a pretty extensive um sort of instructions what to do with, with everything how to delegate the tasks across the agents okay it's also instructed to really think about okay which agent would be the best for this and for that so really just doing its same old thing right 
So then we have the rules, instructions, um, then we're giving a spreadsheet logging format. Okay, how it should be logging information in spreadsheets and pretty much examples. And yeah, very similar with other agents, just more of a high level strategy, I would say. Cool, so now let's do a quick um, demo of this entire flow. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say, uh, help me build um, strategy to increase my online presence as anything automation uh, content creator. Okay, so let's shoot that to the AIs and you can do it in a couple of ways, right? So here you can do it sort of manually. It's going to ask you all the correct questions, right? So when you're building a marketing strategy, uh, these are pretty much the standard ones that we will want to know, objective, target audience, content platforms, and all that stuff. Uh, you can answer one by one if you if you want to really get the uh, information or output tailored to your needs. But I'm just going to take a fast way. I'm going to say something. Uh, please choose and suggest for me. So AI kind of does the whole brainstorming and does everything for me. So now it's going to brainstorm and it's going to suggest me uh, the objective and everything else. So here, uh, grow your audience and authority as an 8 8 automation expert. Okay, uh, target audience developers, automation enthusiasts, um, content platforms, YouTube X and etc. And basically it kind of pre-filled everything for me and the next, right? So I'm going to say uh, approved, please proceed. Okay, so we're going to send that and now it's going to go and start assigning tasks to AI agents. Okay, so here it does the, its thing. It's using the tably for, uh, for the URL research that we've included there. Um, what you might see that it's going to return the response to Simo agent. It's going to say, hey, um, can you confirm these and these details? Which is pretty awesome because if one of these AI agents doesn't have a uh, information or it needs more information, um, the CMO will return a, a answer and it's going to say, hey, can you can you confirm these details or, you know, uh, stuff like that. So I think you're going to see that in live action. We should we should get a response like that. OK, so actually, so it's, it's this is really cool because you can see. So here, uh, because it understood that I, I am a content creator on social media, right? It didn't even bother to use the uh, email marketing agents or a paid ads agent, right? Because I didn't mention anything about paid, uh, paid ads um, because it makes sense, right? So as a content creator, like we don't really run any ads unless you're really big and scaling. You can do some a bit of a social boost. But it's really cool that it was able to kind of uh, on its own understand, OK, so we are not focusing on email channels. We're not focusing on, you know, paid ads channels. So we need to focus only on social media for now, OK, to kickstart everything. And that's crazy to me because it, it's so good how how good it gotten. And this flow is really, really good with uh, understanding what what's exactly the strategy and the goal, right? So here we have the key audience the platforms, core weekly content flow, uh, engagement, authority tactics, platform trends, right? So, and also everything uh, was logged in here, right? And that's about it. I actually just added the sticky notes right here. So for all the beginners out there, just kind of explaining which API keys you need and also the URLs uh, to create an account for those API keys and also just kind of a, giving a short breakdown of the entire workflow, okay? so. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, and if you don't have N8 and yet, there will be a uh, partner link for N8. And so if you guys want to support me, you can use that link and create an account through N8. Uh, other than that, as always, if you did enjoy the content and if you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe, enable notifications, and I will see you next time, guys. Happy building.